Hello, welcome to the My Tool Belt. This is Michael. This video is a special announcement video. I'm going to share with you, my subscribers and viewers, that I have created a course for Curious.com. Curious.com is a website you can go to. It has lots of different lessons, a uh, different variety of topics, not just animation and graphics. They also have things like jewelry making and how to draw and finance and all sorts of different topics. So I made an animation course for Curious.com. I hope you'll take the time to go check it out, see if you might be something you enjoy. In this video, I'm going to show some clips as I talk, just to, just to demonstrate some of the things I go over in the course. Uh, it's a little bit different than the, my typical Maya tool belt video. The tool belt is where I go over tools specifically for the most part. You know, I do do some demonstration things every so often. But for the tool belt, I usually will take a tool such as, oh, I don't know, let's look at one, mesh combine, for instance. I'll take a video of just talking about Combine and how it works. The Curious.com course is a little different. It's actually a, an entire series to demonstrate how to create something specifically. So this is my take at an animation course. I felt like there is a lack of intermediate animation because you can't just jump face first into character animation without some kind of foundation to build up to creating characters. Characters are probably the most complex thing you can make in Maya. So typically what I would consider a beginner's animation course would be like the bouncing ball. You know, you take a, a sphere and you have it bounce and you demonstrate gravity and squash and stretch and so on. That's, that's what I would consider a beginner's animation lesson, how to make a ball bounce in a scene, right? For Curious.com what I proposed to them was an, kind of a beginner to intermediate course to go from the bouncing ball to kind of give you something to, to work up towards and work through on your way to doing more advanced topics such as character animation. So this course will take a spaceship. I, I provide the model, I provide the textures and everything. You don't have to make anything if you don't want to. So I provide the spaceship, I provide the scene, and we just start from the beginning of rigging the spaceship for animation. We create all the controls, we set up custom attributes, we use set driven key, uh, we use motion paths, we just go over all sorts of different animation things that you don't necessarily learn in a beginner's guide. You're not necessarily taught in an advanced guide either because they kind of assume you already know all this stuff. So I feel like the intermediate range of courses is relatively lacking in books and the internet and such. Uh, even in schools you'll learn the bouncing ball, the jack-in-the-box, I remember doing that when I was in school, and then they, they just say okay now go create a character and it's just this huge hurdle. My hope is that this course on Curious.com, if you go take a look, it has a lot of foundational material going through more intermediate topics. The goal of the course is at the end you can have your own scene of the spaceship flying around, coming in for a landing on the landing structure that is pro again provided. In addition to that, those who watch the Maya Tool Belt, I've been provided a link that you can go to to get 20% off your membership to Curious.com. The link will be in the description as well. I'll put a link here in the, in the video. If you want to know how to animate, if you're having difficulty getting beyond the bouncing ball, if you have the goal of creating more and more advanced scenes, I hope you'll check out my course on Curious.com. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.